David, thanks. Chattanooga's new police chief says no dollar amount is too much to save lives in our city. This after city council members voted to award Hope for the Inner City $290,000 to assist with the Violence Reduction Initiative. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin has more. But if we can save one life, I'm not going to put a price tag on that. That's Chief Fletcher's reaction after the nonprofit Hope for the Inner City was awarded nearly $300,000 to help reduce crime in Chattanooga. And that money comes straight from Chattanooga Police Department's budget. We're a city of 170,000 people with a significant violence problem. Hope for the Inner City tells us they plan to use the funds for mentoring services, job training, and emergency response, helping ex offenders and gang members turn their lives around. Chief Fletcher says of the Four organizations who submitted bids to the city, Hope for the Inner City was by far the best to help police curb our city's violence. Their mission is to help us place at risk people, these people that we identify, young people mostly, young men mostly, who are most at risk to be victims or suspects of violence. Their job is to help us continue to place these folks with the services that will keep them from becoming victims or suspects in violence. One of the things that we need to do, I think, is work together. Today, Chief Fletcher spoke at the Hickson Council meeting on his efforts to reduce crime in Chattanooga. He says he wants more officers on the streets and there's a need for more neighborhood policing. 170,000 sets of eyes telling us what is out of place and what is dangerous in their neighborhoods and reporting that to us and allowing us to use our expertise and the tools provided by the by the city to address those problems. Jerry Askin, News Channel 9. The city of Chattanooga has helped about 50 people find permanent jobs through the Violence Reduction Initiative. That includes ex-offenders.